Hello, and welcome to the Oracle Enterprise Manager PagerDuty Ticketing Connector Installation and Configuration Guide. <clears throat> As you can see, I've already logged into Oracle Enterprise Manager. From here, we're going to go to Setup, Extensibility, Self Update. In the Self Update list, we're going to click on Management Connector. Here we can see the PagerDuty REST Ticketing Connector has already been downloaded. We're going to click the apply button and then OK. And here we can see a job has been submitted to successfully apply the update to Enterprise Manager. We're going to click OK. And by the time we've clicked OK, we'll see that the job is already run and that the ticketing connector has been applied. From here, we'll go to setup, extensibility, management connectors. We're going to create a connector and select our PagerDuty REST ticketing connector and click go. Here we can give our connector a name. In this case, I'll call it PagerDuty demo and an optional description. I'm gonna click okay. And now we can see our first connector has already been created, our PagerDuty demo. To configure it, we're gonna select it and click configure. On this screen, we can see several connection settings that need to be set so that we can communicate from Oracle Enterprise Manager to PagerDuty. First, we'll see our web service endpoints. Each of these are already pre-filled in and do not need to be updated. So from here, let's head over to PagerDuty to get our API token. I've already logged into my PagerDuty instance. To get an API token, we're gonna to go to integrations, API access keys. Here you can see a list of your already created keys. In this case, let's create a new API key for this demo. We'll call it our PagerDuty demo. You have the option to click read only. However, since we're going to be using the create API to create tickets in PagerDuty, make sure this is left unchecked. We're gonna click create key. And here they'll give you your API key. Make sure to save this somewhere that you can reach it again, because as they know, this key will not be visible in PagerDuty again. Let's head back to Enterprise Manager. So there we go, there's our token. You also need the user email in PagerDuty that created this token. Next up is the service ID. To get the service ID, let's head back to PagerDuty. We're going to go to our service and then our service directory. In our service directory, you can see a list of any services that you have created. You can see I've already created one for Oracle Enterprise Manager. However, if you need to create a new service, just click the new service button up here. Once your service is created, click on the service name. To get the ID, we're gonna go into the URL and copy it from above. In our case, it's the seven letter string at the end. I'm gonna copy this, head back to Enterprise Manager and fill that in for our service ID. Finally, we need a ticket ID to test our connection between Oracle Enterprise Manager and PagerDuty. To do that, we'll head back, we'll go to our incidents, and on our incidents page, we can see a list of all the incidents that we've already had. If you don't have one, again, feel free to create new incident just to help test connection. But since we already have some, I'm going to click on it. I'm gonna go back up to the URL and I'm going to select that ID. And now we have a valid ticket ID. Now, if you're using a proxy, feel free to click proxy settings Enter your host, username, port, and password. However, in this demo, we won't be using one. And finally, under the web console settings, if you wanna enable those, click enable, and then we'll have to go get our PagerDuty subdomain. The web console settings allow us to provide a direct URL from Oracle Enterprise Manager to the PagerDuty ticket that we've created. I'm gonna head back to PagerDuty. I'm going to go to any of our URLs and just grab the subdomain from here. And there we go. We'll now click OK. 
And here we can see our connection test has succeeded and our configuration was saved. We see the green status check mark. And so it looks like our ticketing connector is ready to go. And that's how you install and configure the PagerDuty ticketing connector. Thank you for watching.